This is Hydrogen Tap. I've been out running around now that I'm getting some good mileage. Uh, I'm taking advantage of it and kind of laughing at the others. Hopefully that will even get better later. If you've been following my videos, you know that we're talking about the focus cell. If you want to take a look at it, you can go to hydrogentap.tap.com or you can email me at john aarons at hydrogentap.com. There is one thing I want to please call your attention to, and that is the fact that I get a few emails from people that have locked mailboxes. It is really frustrating to me to try to write back and find you've got a locked email box. I don't have time to subscribe to your boxes. So if you have one of those and you can unlock it, fine. If not, please just use the comment file. A lot of good feedback on the cells and I'm hoping to make them even better. The focus is the cell that I'm working on and it will be uh, the one, the flagship. I just came back from a pretty good sized trip and I'm going to be checking the lug nuts on here. And they seem to be tight. It's obvious that the seal, I need a different kind of seal on there. But now I've gotten, I've tightened it down to such a degree that I'm probably not going to have to worry about tightening it anymore. One of the things I'm thinking about doing is putting a liquid seal on there or actually gluing it. And then if I have to go in there, which I haven't had to do, then what I'll do is just open it up. The cell's performing so well and I have so many ports on it that if I have to empty it, I can do that and uh, the actual cell itself doesn't need any any work done on it. Also the bubbler, which everyone's asking me about, has been performing really well. Right now I've got it running starting at 30 amp, at 15 amps and going to 30 and uh, that has been interesting so I should be pumping at least two liters or maybe even more into the engine. One of the things I'm still getting questions about is the O2 sensor. I'm not using the O2 sensor bypass at all. All this is happening directly in and no other adjustments. the engine at idle here and you can see the voltage rating at 14. Now I'm going to turn on the focus cell. You can see I've been out on it and we're almost we're at 30 amps. As soon as I turn it on we're getting back to a little over 12. So there's the running time. Put my foot on the gas. You can see it go up a little bit. So there's your alternator kicking in. The alternator is more than handling it. I have noticed that the alternator allows the battery to go down to about 12 volts. And you can see it here. So we're at idle right now. Everything seems to be running fine. I'm really, really enthused over this and the mileage that we're getting. Again, if you want to write me at John Aarons at HydrogenTap.com, I'd be glad to uh, answer your email. I have had a lot of people who are interested in buying the cell that don't want to use PayPal right now. And I do have a mailing address. If you write me, I will allow you to 
send check, that's no problem. And I'll be setting up an overseas system so the people from overseas, I will be able to help you. As you can see, it's pretty warmed up right now. The other thing I have set up, if you go to hydrogentap.com, you'll note that I have a YouTube button there. I had that before, but this time what I have is going to all the hydrogen tap videos. So you'll see them in order. So if you want to, or if you've had trouble getting the order that they're in, you can go to hydrogentap.com and click on YouTube and that'll bring you to all the videos and they'll be in order. I know that's been frustrating for some. Well, that looks like that's about as high as it's going because this car is warmed up with the cell. I still have this safety switch on which is here. So when I leave the car I can turn that so that the relay, if the relay sticks at all, this bypasses that. And that's uh, something I would definitely tell you to use. So once this switch is in the off position, which is here, this cell is definitely off. And you can see what happens when I turned it off. It goes to 14. I don't know why I'm having trouble here with this video. And you can see. I have received a number of comments on some of my spelling on the Hydrogen Tap site. I appreciate it when you point it out. I don't appreciate it when you put it everything in capital letters. I am a one-man company here and I have a lot of things that I'm doing and I know once in a while I do let the spelling go by but it's more important to me right now to get the product right. So understand that. So if you're one of these spelling maniacs out there, that's not the word I want to use, but if you're into spelling, you definitely don't want to go to my site. There are a few words here and there. And my, the problem is the system that I use to create the site does not have a spelling checker on it. And so what that means is if I don't, I have to be super careful on it in order to make sure that all the spelling's correct. It's not like I can just ask it to check it. So I understand your concern and I'm trying to take time to do that, but there's going to be a few slips and uh, that does happen. One of the things you should know about the site, or most sites, is when I make a change I have to upload the whole site all over again because what happens when you do these uploads and it's a very big site because of all the pictures that you can't just upload one page. You have to upload everything otherwise they get scrambled. So understand that. Again, if you want to write me at hydrogentap.com, I really enjoy your letters and I have no problem with writing you right back.